hi uh, the year is ending uh, tomorrow today is the 31st and then uh, we're gonna get into a new year and uh, I kind of hesitate to make a, a psychic predictions for 2023 usually uh, in the previous years I try to kind of delay it to uh, see what dream or impressions uh, what uh, is gonna uh, show up that uh, I would have to uh, include it in all these uh, uh, predictions I, I excuse me my diabetes is getting the better of me but uh, uh, there already is a lot of material and uh, there is really no reason to uh, uh, to uh, to delay it. And uh, I I usually look at the in the beginning of the year in the beginning of the psychic predictions for the new year. I try to look at the past and see uh, what predictions I made for 2022 that came true and then go from there and uh, uh, well one of the most important ones that i made a prediction for 2022 is that the russia will invade uh, ukraine uh, at the time it was about a month before uh, the russians had attacked and uh, uh, still a lot of people were now sure that such a thing is going to happen and uh, but I just said that that's what's going to happen as uh, some form of validation I know I'm no Nostradamus but uh, a lot of the stuff that I've said in the previous years have come true um, there is other predictions that I made for 2022 that uh, have come true but there is the uh, what's going what's happening is that the uh, sides of uh, conflict they are hiding uh, this the events that happened in that year there's like uh, uh, well for example when uh, uh, Iran or Palestine Palestinians attack Israel and uh, they wreak havoc and destroy a lot of stuff israel usually hides the uh, these events because it's not good for their public consumption and they you know and so it kind of makes the reviewing the previous years a, a little bit hard but uh, i i don't care anymore because i found this uh, ways of uh, extremely accurate predictions for f future years uh, I'll tell you how I do it well, if you go on YouTube and you uh, you research or do uh, uh, say you uh, type in uh, 2023 psychic predictions and you see the way other uh, psychics they work and uh, this is not at all what, what I do you see see a lot of them they they consult the star charts is is really uh, astrology and uh, they'll uh, based on the position of planets or stuff they make predictions and i think that's a very uh, inaccurate way of uh, making psychic predictions the only thing looking at the astrological uh, positions of planets and stuff the only thing it does is uh, kind of um, uh, diffuses uh, uh, psychics attention from being totally uh, focused to uh, kind of relax and let the spirit come in and make uh, the call uh, but that's not what I do at all I don't use astrological charts uh, I don't care what the position the planets are at and I uh, only do psychic predictions 
based on direct psychic experiences, on dreams or events that I have, that I, I believe they are the future will happen, uh, and use those, or uh, th this one other one method I use is uh, to look at the whatever uh, history or predictions that have been left from Prophet Muhammad. Uh, I am a, a devout Muslim and uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad has extremely accurate uh, psychic predictions uh, for the future and I will uh, go over some of them right now. Well, the way the psych uh, aspect of the psychic works is, is a bit similar to uh, what a prophet does. Well, prophets say Jesus or Prophet Muhammad is like they have a real uh, strong connection to God. They have like a real DSL uh, connection, you know, like a computer that's totally hooked up to the network and can get everything, all the information in the most accurate way you can imagine, but uh, on a lesser psychics, I, I, I do not consider myself in that uh, spiritual realm to be equal to Jesus or Prophet Muhammad. I, I consider myself a, a lesser uh, psychic. Well, actually, the, the Persians, the Muslims, they have uh, different two different words for what happens. Uh, the the Persians use the word Elham. Elham means uh, like uh, some inkling, some uh, uh, clues come to you as a psychic that hey, this is gonna happen. I, it has happened to me, or a dream, uh, or sometimes you hear things. For example, uh, I, I was coming back in 1978 to United States. I was a student. And my dad took me uh, to the airport, and we, we, we were uh, saying goodbye. I was kissing his cheek, and then when I turned back to go, uh, I heard this voice. It's like saying, "Hey, this is the last time you're gonna see your dad." It's like uh, it's like a ghost of. A, ancestor uh, talk to you and tell you this is what's going to happen or it, uh, something you see vivid dream of, of what's going to happen in a dream uh, but uh, uh, in the from prophet muhammad there is a very accurate uh, predictions for the future uh, i was totally uh, unaware of this until i watched the program by uh, Miss Parvin Zamani, she's a very nice journalist, and uh, she was interviewing a, a scholar. Uh, his uh, name is Hamid Shafizadeh. Uh, he uh, studied very old manuscripts left uh, from Prophet Muhammad, and Prophet Muhammad explicitly makes uh, end times prophecies that. Uh, that have been like collecting dust in uh, all these uh, years. Uh, uh, one uh, one of the things that makes me sh very sure that these prophecies are very accurate is that uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad. Uh, this is fourteen hundred years ago. Fourteen or one hundred. 1,401 year ago or so in terms of years, he uh, names a nation. He, he, uh, at, at that time, there was no word uh, American or America. And this word shows up in the literature that's left from him. And he says that there will be a nation uh, like 50 stars on the ground like 50 states and then uh, he, he goes on to say that this nation would be like uh, uh, like a romance 
they are like the descendants of Romans. They're, they're white, and they are the ones that uh, will uh, will fight the last wars, uh, end time wars, with the Persians. Uh, at the time, uh, Prophet Muhammad made these uh, uh, predictions. I don't know if they used the word Iranian or Irani. Uh, Irani, uh, the word uh, became more fashionable in use instead of Persians. At many centuries later, I think. Uh, so uh, uh, he depicts the end times as the last war between. Uh, the Persians and the, uh, these Americans, and uh, it will be over uh, Israel and uh, Holy Land. And this is uh, then uh, Mr. Shafi is the, the scholar. He went through and talked about all the events that will happen. And uh, in this last war, that uh, really will be like a war between. Israel and uh, Iran and other nations will uh, get dragged into it, uh, will, uh, will become a really bloody war. Uh, the Israel becomes uh, mostly crippled uh, nation and will actually, uh, at a, uh, some another stage, it will become so. Um, carpet bombed and uh, so many uh, Israelis will uh, run away that the, uh, the Lebanese from north will come in with the ground troops and everywhere they go there is no one there. Everybody has taken off and it will be just like uh, taking over without a fight. But this, this is, uh, to my knowledge, uh, this is the the very best uh, end times prophecies that exist. There is uh, uh, what if you want to go uh, with what I had predicted in 2022, uh, I think it would be like a, a more faded version of these uh, uh, prophecies made by Prophet Muhammad. It would be basically I say the same stuff. But you know my uh, resources for uh, going there is based on my psychic experiences. For example, I say that uh, uh, in these times, many uh, uh, American politicians will get killed. I, I had a dream. I saw in this dream that such a thing happened. So it was it was based on uh, personal psychic experiences. It's not based on charts. It wasn't based on uh, uh, predictions of Nostradamus or Prophet Muhammad or anybody. It was just like that. I I I I, I believe uh, that it, it's fairly accurate, and uh, some happen and some will happen uh, at a later stage. Then also, uh, I believe that my psychic predictions. Are, are the most accurate if you go into YouTube or than any other psychic that uh, and you're welcome to do so you can go and uh, uh, you'll see a lot of them they're, they're resorting to charts to a position of planets to uh, and it's, it's much more inaccurate and much more given to their whims and desires and uh, I think many uh, psychics, they really uh, are uh, self-prophesying what they want to see. They, they will not uh, tell you stuff that's, uh, that's uh, not very pretty to look at. Well, actually, I'm not, uh, I'm not a Yankee or American, and I don't uh, feel a special alliance to uh, this place. So whatever it comes up, I, I will just tell you, hey, this is what will happen. And uh, but uh, basically, this last war uh, will start with by Israelis. Uh, I, I think uh, the fact that Netanyahu came back to political power uh, is is a, is a, like an omen 
Uh, he's the guilty in many uh, uh, wars and uh, 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 many uh, conflicts and uh, he, he came back to political power to receive the punishment that is, is due to him and uh, well, I think that uh, when Netanyahu gets killed then uh, uh, this person, his name is uh, Avi Gedron Lieberman uh, who, uh, he, he was a uh, war minister he will kind of control uh, uh, control Israel in its last days and he will get killed by uh, uh, Hamas inside the tunnel they will hang him so uh, I had some experience that I kind of relates to this ideas and uh, uh, the uh, thing that the Israel will get totally carpet bombed everything will be destroyed everything that's above ground will get destroyed uh, any airport uh, facilities cities uh, and uh, well uh, that's that part uh, and uh, the conflict in Ukraine uh, will uh, result in uh, uh, some limited nuclear exchange uh, it, would, it wouldn't really be an exchange because the Russians will, uh, uh, will uh, I think they will throw at least four mini nukes, one uh, in the base in Germany, one uh, one against the British, one in the Stockholm uh, NATO headquarters, and one uh, in the United States. Uh, but uh, it's like uh, I, I cannot see all the details of what will happen to the United States, but the way this place is going, with all these provocations is that uh, the, the war will just come here in, uh, in the homeland. Uh, it will be uh, uh, something similar to what happened to Ukraine with the uh, suicide drones, but it will be in the mainland. Actually, Iran is building or has built a lot of uh, suicide drones and many of them are very long range drones and uh, uh, the, there is a, a psychic prediction from Prophet Muhammad that the Americans will hit the China with uh, one large nuke and kill a lot of Chinese and then uh, there will be a retaliation uh, uh, it's it's bizarre how, how many countries the United States has gotten into conflict with. It's like, you know, they just don't care uh, what uh, uh, what the world can throw at them. Uh, I think these are the really main uh, main points that the, these uh, conflicts. Uh, Prophet Muhammad says that in the end times, in the conflicts, uh, many people will get killed. The, there will be so many people dead that if the, out of the seven persons, five will be dead. Five uh, as a large number of uh, casualties. Uh, five out of seven. And the population will diminish. Uh, uh, there is a concept in Islamic uh, theology. It, it goes like this uh, it's like when God wants to end the nation or end the person's life he or she or the universal God will do a little uh, chit chat with this person and it happens in their soul and uh, the term that the Muslim scholars they use is called etmam hojat. Etmam means finishing. Hojat uh, means like real manifest sign. There is no way that you can say, uh, hey, this was BS. No. It will, it will be like a thing that happens 
I, you fucking know that this is not normal. This didn't. <laughs> this wasn't the uh, the just the wrong dice. It was uh, some something uh, uh, really rigged things and it came out like that. At Mama Hajat means God will finish reasoning, and I think that humanity or large portions of humanity have uh, have received at Mom Hujat. Like there has been a lot of uh, prophets and saviors and there's been a lot of growth spiritually. Uh, whoever uh, got this far and uh, he or she is still a criminal, then that that the guy's gonna just uh, throw them off the board, something like that, uh, like, you know, we have done everything, there is no, uh, there is no more uh, uh, spiritual evolution, there is no more uh, rigging, there is nothing go uh, else is going to happen, this is it, this is the, the tally point, where uh, I think that's uh, kind of like uh, why Prophet Mama says that uh, out of the seven uh, people, five will, will die and like the God just says I'm done well the other two they can go on the humanity can go on but the other and uh, there the, the, there will be no more revelations there will be no more uh, uh, no more uh, signs but the, the, there will be signs that the, uh, about the, that God is the, in charge and stuff, but it will not be uh, uh, anything on a personal level. Uh, well, there is some uh, uh, some literature says that at the end times, uh, humanity uh, will become like uh, all the uh, stuff that uh, really psychic. You see that ordinary people they suddenly like uh, they have these qualities. That uh, formerly uh, you you could tell uh, that only like real real psychics, real uh, uh, saviors, real mediums that has these qualities. Everything will become manifest, uh, uh, kind of like a bizarre concept. The only uh, similar to it is like. Uh, you know, in the ufology, they say that the, the aliens, they all can talk to each other without using their lips. They're like, they're all uh, telepathic. But uh, uh, humanity will become like that. You, uh, well, I, I saw uh, uh, one uh, example of this when I was in the uh, University of New Hampshire. I, I had kind of fallen for this girl. Uh, it was like amazing. It, and I was like thinking about something, uh, she would just verbalize it, uh, or she was thinking of something. Uh, I knew this. This is what she's thinking. Uh, something like that. L women and men, they uh, they are married to each other. They have this kind of ability to communicate, or they know exactly what this person is thinking, and this kind of bizarre. But everything will become like. Uh, totally manifest, uh, totally uh, like bare. Uh, well, uh, uh, I don't want to uh, go into some of this stuff that, that's been written down. Uh, uh, some Muslim scholars, they keep tally of all the signs of the end times that the uh, that Prophet Muhammad said, and a lot of them have come true. Uh, but you know, I'm not totally reliant on historical records. Uh, I go by my own experiences, and I think this is really the bread and butter of psychic predictions: is your own uh, heartfelt connections and experiences to see what. Uh, might be happening uh, um, and technologically we are, we are we are in a singularity now 
and it will be a, we're gonna end up in a zero marginal cost society it become extremely cheap to make everything and do everything uh, I have gone into this stuff in previous videos uh, but uh, uh, it will not be about machines it will not be about uh, uh, production modes and socialism you know it's something that happens in the human sphere uh, in, in the end time this, the, the guilty parties are really the Jews and the Romans and they, they lose it they lose all of it uh, that's basically the gist of it uh, with the uh, it doesn't go too much into what happens with China and the uh, United States the, the, it does say that there is one large nuclear explosion it doesn't say if there is more or less uh, with uh, with China and Russia I mean if I was uh, any other nation Iran have excellent relations with them but if imagine you are confronted with a huge uh, country with all these resources all these ways of making money and making friends why would you want to go to war with them I, I mean, to me it uh, it's totally bizarre thing to do uh, we'll see I might have another subsequent to this uh, psychic predictions for 2023 uh, I don't know. Uh, see what else is there. Um, some uh, I, I I don't want to say the. Uh, we'll see uh, if I'll make another video. Thank you very much for being my YouTube channel, and uh, we'll chat. Thanks.